Hubble, the telescope that was supposed to unlock some of the biggest mysteries of the universe. Well, it did all that, and then some. Hubble, more than any of the others, had so much capability in its basic design that it allowed scientists to answer those questions, but in the process, many more questions popped up. Hubble's greatness was not so much, perhaps, in discovering entirely new things, but in taking all kinds of hints and suggestions that we've had before on a variety of phenomena and turning those into actual facts. For example, we've known for a long time the universe is expanding in all directions. The big question at the time was, how much is the universe slowing down? And the reason that that was such an exciting question was because that would tell you how much stuff there was in the universe that would gravitationally attract and slow the expansion. But asking that question led to one of the biggest surprises of the 20th century. Our universe is expanding at an ever faster rate, under the push of what's been called dark energy. Dark energy is this pretty mysterious component of the universe. It makes up about 70% of the mass energy budget of the universe. And its strange aspect is it appears to have a kind of repulsive gravity, which is causing the universe to expand faster and faster. It's actually speeding up. And that's bizarre. That's nothing that we'd expected. And apparently, there's a new entity in the story that we had not taken into account. It's not often that you discover most of the universe. That can only happen once. And that discovery led to worldwide acclaim in 2011. Professor Saul Perlmutter, Professor Brian Schmidt, Professor Adam Rees. You have been awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery of the accelerating expansion of the universe. I couldn't imagine a more fun scientific measurement to make um, than something that would tell you if the universe was infinite and tell you if there was an end to the universe. It turned out, though, that the answer was even more fun than that. But dark energy isn't the only elusive mystery of the universe Hubble has tackled. A supermassive black hole is where the equivalent of several hundred thousand or a million or 10 million stars like the sun have been crammed into a region in space smaller than a pencil point. What Hubble did is to confirm that in fact there really are these supermassive entities, black holes in the centers of galaxies. And it seems like that the mass of these interior black holes is related to the amount of star mass in that global central region of these galaxies. It tells us a lot about how galaxies formed and how they grow and what it was that led to the production of life on this tiny little planet in this vast cosmos. A cosmos.